Okay, in this video, we are going to write the equation in the form of y is equal to a times b to the x power when we are given two points. So here we go. Remember, we always have x comma y, x comma y, and this time we start with this. So you put the x, which is zero right here, and you put the five in here. So we end up with five, that's equal to a times b raised to the x power, which is just zero. But you see, b to the zero's power is just one. So a times one is one, and here we just get a being equal to five right away, which is pretty nice. And then we can use the other point to help us find out what b should be. So now x is three, y is three thirty. I mean three twenty. You just put that right here. So we will have three twenty equals the a is five. The b we don't know. But the x is 3, so you just put that right here. And then we can just continue. To do so, we divide both sides by 5, they cancel. And um, 320 divided by 5, we get 64. So we have 64. But let me write down the b to the third power first. That's equal to 64. And now, how do we solve for this? Well, you can take the cube root on both sides. Or you can also raise both sides to the third power, right? One over three power, right? And you'll see this and that will cancel, and you end up with b is equal to four, and you are done. So in the end, the answer is just y equals a is five. So just put that down right here, times b is four, and let me use a parentheses right here for the b. Then raise to the x power, and then with that, we are done, right? And now here is the other question. The other question is one comma four and three comma one. This is part B. One comma four and uh, three comma one, like this. All right, here we go. Same thing, right? So x y x y and uh, four into y. So we have four. That's equal to a. We don't know b. We don't know, but the x is equal to one. So that's what we have. And you see, this is what we have at the moment. Now, we don't know A or B because this is not as nice as that one. So keep this in mind. Have a look here though. This time, Y is equal to 1. So I'll just put that down right here. And A, we don't know. B, we don't know. And the X right here is equal to 3, like that. All right? Now, have a look of what we have to do right here. So remember, just like in the lecture videos, Whenever we have this, what we do is look at this equation and look at that equation. Here we have b to the third power, so put this on the top. What we'll do is, right here we divide it by 4. And then right here we divide it by this, which is a times b to the first power. Why do we do that? Well, because you see that the a will cancel each other out, which is so nice. And this is just 1 over 4, that's equal to b to the third power over b to the first power is just b squared, like this, right? And then we'll just take the square root on both sides, like this. But remember, when we take the square root on both sides, we have to put on the plus or minus. But remember, remember, when we are trying to do the exponential functions, we don't want to have negative base. So we don't need a negative right here. Again, the b cannot be negative. So with that being said, we'll just say b is equal to square root of 1 over 4, which is just 1 half. And again, it's just positive 1 half. Well, we still have to find out what b, what a is. I will just put on the b right here. So this is 4 equals a times b, which is 1 half. And then right here, what do we do? Well, we can just multiply both sides by 2. So they cancel, and then in the end, you see a equals 2 times 4. Let me just write this down right here better for you guys. 2 times 4, which is 8. And we're done. Finally, we say y equals 8 times 1 half to the x power. So let me just put that down right here for you guys real quick. 8 times 1 half raised to the x power like this. And with that, we are done. All right, again, we will find the equation y is equal to a times b to the x power. And first, we have these two points. So remember, here we have x comma y, x comma y. So here we go. Put 50 into y. So we have 50 
that's equal to a times b. But this time the x is 4, so we'll just put that down right here. And again, we don't know like a is what, b is what, we cannot simplify too much. So we come here, put the 18 to y. So let me write that down. And that's equal to a times b to the x, which is 6, like that. Then, right here, we just divide it by 50, number divided by number. And then the right-hand side, divided by the right-hand side. So divide this by a, b to the fourth power, like that. And the good thing is, a and a cancel, and 80 divided by 50 is just 8 over 5. So that's not so bad. And that's equal to, well, we can reduce this. b to the 6 over b to the fourth, you just subtract the powers. So here is b to the second, like that, all right? So now, have a look. This right here, we can just take the square root on both sides. And technically, we shall put down a plus or minus. But technically, technically, b has to be positive. So that means the negative is not needed, all right? Well, here, this and that cancel. This right here, you will just have to use a calculator to that. And uh, I will just tell you, if we do square root of uh, 8 divided by 5, you will see b is approximately, and uh, the direction says we want the answer in three decimal places. So I would write the as 1.265, like that, all right? Then I'm just going to put this back here and then we'll be able to solve for a. Have a look, here we have the 50, and that's equal to a is still a, but b is this now, namely 1.265, 265 and then raised to the fourth power like that well i will have to work this out so i will just do 1.265 to the fourth power work that out and again let me actually divide this into two parts this right here will give us let me write this down first though 2.561 times a that's equal to 50, right? And then we can just divide this number on both sides. So divided by 2.561, divided by 2.561. They cancel out pretty nicely. Then we see 50 divided by 2.561, we get the following. So again, just do it on your calculator and all that. And we will have a being approximately equal to one, sorry, 19.524, like this. And lastly, we'll write y is equal to this, which is one point, sorry, again, okay, which is 19.524 times 1.265 raised to the x power, like that. All right, so, this is it. All right, here, last one. X, Y, X, Y. Put them into the equation. So we have 20 equals A, B, and then the X is 3. So this is what we have. Again, we don't know too much about this. So we come here. And then right here, we just put down 1,000 equals A times B to the seventh power like that great here here we divide it by 20 here we divide it by that a b to the third power well let's see right here 100 divided by 20 should be 50 and that's equal to a's cancel out which is very nice and then this divided by that is b to the fourth power like this and then right here, you can just do the fourth root, or you can just do the 1 over 4 power, up to you. I will perhaps do the 1 over 4 power, as opposed to the fourth root, because this right here, it's easier to enter. Earlier, we could have done it as to the 1 half power. Same thing, right? Anyway, they cancel, and you just take the past number only, so don't worry too much. Anyway, 50 raised to the 1 over 4 power, we get b is approximately 
2.659 like this. Now again, come here, we have 20 being equal to A times B, which is that 2.659 and then raised to the third power. So work this out, 2.659 to the third power. I just worked that out. Here, I'll write that down, which is 18.8. And then it's like 18.7998, so it's just 18.8, all right? Anyway, this times A, that's equal to 20. So right here, let's divide both sides by this number, which is 18.8 divided by 18. 8, they cancel out very nicely. 20 divided by 18.8. Well, A is about equal to 1.064, like that. And finally, we'll just write it as Y equals this number, which is 1.064 times 2.659 raised to the X power, like that. Yes, we're done.